Near-Earth space debris, or space junk, is an issue that grows in magnitude and urgency every day. Since humans first started exploring space in the 1950s, the amount of debris in low Earth orbit has increased exponentially. In fact, as of 2021, NASA and the DoD are tracking over 27,000 pieces of debris that they consider a threat to manned or robotic space missions. Luckily, Tyrion Space is working on a solution. They're designing devices to perform active debris removal, a process where space debris is actively removed from orbit as opposed to waiting for natural processes to drag it into the atmosphere. Turion's devices will consist of CubeSats that will track down and attach to space debris and then bring the debris to a lower orbit where Earth's atmosphere can do the rest. With our test bed, Turion Space will be able to place their CubeSats in a thermal vacuum chamber and run a number of tests on their capture mechanism without ever opening the door. Our apparatus will also collect video and accelerometer data from each trial that allows Turion to analyze the effectiveness of different devices for capturing free-floating debris. Our testing equipment consists of three main parts that will be placed inside a thermal vacuum chamber. The debris vehicle, the end detector vehicle, and the megatonic system, as well as a GUI program and computer to run the tests externally. The two vehicles simulate an in-orbit capture by gliding across a testing plate and colliding at low speeds. The end effector vehicle holds the Turion design capture mechanism, while the debris vehicle holds simulated space debris. They also record and wirelessly transmit data on forces, acceleration, and rotation during tests, and have multiple configuration options for both the debris type and capture mechanism orientation. Beneath the two vehicles is the Mechtronics Assembly, which contains stepper motors and electromagnetics that can magnetically grab and reposition the vehicles between tests. The Mechatronics Assembly also allows for custom orientation and positioning for each trial to test different approach angles that may rise in orbit. These parameters are controlled through a GUI. This communicates with the Raspberry Pi, which serves as the main computer of the overall system, and two Arduinos, which directly control the stepper motors and electromagnets. Most of our parts are machined from aluminum as vacuum chambers have stringent outgassing requirements that eliminate the ability to use other materials like wood or plastic. Since every part has to be made of metal, our manufacturing was accomplished using tools like the bandsaw, mill, lathe, and water jam. Now all of this will culminate in our final assembly which Turion Space will use to validate the functionality of their removal system, bringing us one step closer to solving the space junk problem.